enough for our popular tools of the trade videos out here today. Uh, it's going to consist of some uh, good holsters uh, from various companies and some uh, uh, good uh, rifle, shotgun, pistol cleaning uh, accessories that I want to show you to do that. We'll start with a holster here. This first one is from Alien Gear and it's a Kydex holster. This one is cut for this rail of the Colt, which uh, they, it fits it really well. Uh, they'll, they'll fit these holsters just about anything you need. It's very flexible on the back. It's got a soft part right here and it's not uh, not tacky. It goes against your skin. Uh, makes it r really comfortable and it flexes. It's not stiff. It goes inside your pants. It's got these, uh, this has got the plastic clips on it. You can get metal clips, uh, various clips you can get on these things, but and it adjusts up and down here so you can change the cant, the tilt on your weapon, where you wear it inside your pants. But it's a very comfortable way to carry a full size 1911 like this heavy coat. It's available from uh, Alien Gear Holsters. Next holsters here I want to show you are some more Kydex holsters. They're available from uh, multiholsters.com. Uh, this particular one here is cut for a Glock 17. It's a paddle style and it's a it's got the raised area here on the back to protect uh, the weapon from rubbing on your skin from abrading it and your sweat from hurting the weapon. It's partially closed here on the bottom. It's open a little bit to let stuff fall through if it gets in there, twigs and dirt and things, but it's closed to protect your muzzle. Real nice. Thin but stiff Kydex. It's a, it flexes so you can draw the weapon and put it back in. I like the way they cut that in the front. You can adjust the tension on it with these screws right here. This is an inside the waistband and it's got a belt hook on it. Heavy duty plastic. It's got a carbon fiber look to it but it is Kydex. Uh, this is uh, inside the waistband right here for a smaller Glock and this is cut for a laser. They also, uh, some of the hosts they'll cut them for a laser if you like or a light, whatever you need. Uh, they've got a, uh, a variety of holsters available now to fit uh, various guns. You can check them out. They also have different style belt clips. This is a flexible kind right here, easy off and on. They also have metal clips available if you want that. But these are uh, nice Kydex holsters, really well fitted, really well made. They're available from multiholsters.com. Next holster I'm going to show you is from malware.com. That's M A E L W A E R.com. It is a uh, pocket holster for LCP 738, a uh, uh small semi autos like that. Works really well on uh, breaking up the outline of the weapon in your pocket, makes it look like a wallet in your pocket, and it also keeps it turned correctly uh, when it goes into your pocket. And you can do this right or left handed. It's a uh, Goes down in there and it stays when you draw out your weapon. The uh, holster will stay in your pocket and you can uh, pull it out. And then to reholster, I like to take out of pocket holster, put it in. I'm showing this because it's not made for this J frame, but it works really well for this J frame. Keeps it turned correctly too in the pocket. And like I said, it leaves the holster in there when you draw your weapon out. But it's a good little holster. It's like a, a ballistic nylon. It's slick on the inside so your weapon will come out, but it keeps it turned correctly, uh, breaks up the profile of it, and uh, protects your pocket from where, from your, from your holster. Again, it's uh, available from mailwire.com, M-A-E-L-W-E-A-R.com. Cleaning and maintaining your weapon is just as important as your weapon selection and your ammo selection. You don't keep your weapon running right, 
It's going to let you down uh, when you need it the most. So I want to show you some cleaning products here that they're new to me. Just discovered them, and I really like them. These are from Bore Tips. And what I like about these, um, they're a push through. Instead of just a patch, it makes a lot better contact with the entire surface of your bore. These break off of this thing, and they're threaded to fix your cleaning rod. They come in various sizes for different calibers. You just thread this on your cleaning rod, push it through your bore with solvent, push a uh, dry one through, and you're done. Works really well. They also have, you can zoom in here, bolts. They've got various size. I call them big Q-tips, but they're made for getting down inside the action or whatever, uh, cleaning in your weapon. they got thin ones, thick ones, whatever size you need to go down there and do a good job of keeping your weapon clean and running correctly. Anyway, these are available from Bore Tips, and I highly recommend them. Another thing I want to show you here today is this X-Shim kit from xshim.com. And what it does, it's a simple idea, but it works. When I first got this in, I didn't think much of it. Didn't think it worked. Didn't think it could stay in there without falling apart. But they work really well. What it does is, it's a kit with different thicknesses of shims and gauges in here to eliminate the play between your upper and lower receivers on an AR-10, AR-15, M4, M16. Next style of rifle, if you've got excessive play between your upper and lower receivers, these shim kicks, they take care of it. It comes with a gauge that you put in there and uh, determine how much shim you're going to need. And then uh, where your uh, rear takedown pin and your front one goes in, these shims go around that lug. Put them on there and it just eliminates that play. Takes the rattle out of it if you got any. Uh, you know, some good tight ARs on the market. Some are a little looser than others. If you want to tighten them up, the way to do it is this uh, X-Shim kit from x-shim.com. <laughs>